Remember, these videos are not legal in 15 states. Hello and welcome back. We are going to profile a very fun and interesting toy here. Uh, this is the Mark's Big Alarm fire engine. Now many of you, if you've got any sense at all, and I don't know if you have, you've seen my videos on both the uh, Big Boss car carrier and the Big Bruiser tow truck. And I liked both of those because they had similar chassis. They were based uh, on kind of a similar concept, had similar battery boxes, similar cabs for both uh, cost savings purposes as well as, uh, uh, you know, making toys in a series, if you will. And there are a couple of other ones. The Mark's Big Job, which we also showed in profile. We completely took that apart and cleaned it. But that was a kind of a different chassis. This one was another one that I found. And I know Marks had made a lot of different fire trucks. But yes, they made one with the same underpinnings as the Big Bruiser and Big Boss. And this is the Big Alarm fire truck. And it took me a while to find one that uh, was relatively complete. And this one is. It's delightful. You'll recognize it has a very similar end to the later model Big Bruiser wireless version. That is with the forward sweeping cab, uh, the chrome fixture up here, and the squared off uh, wheel wells. And it has very similar, uh, a lot of similarities I should say, with this the, the lever for forward and back, what have you. But there's a lot more to this truck that makes it very interesting. There's a lot to this. It's a, it's a set. I have the original box also, and I have a cardboard, a piece of folded cardboard that that shows a print, a cartoon print of a building on fire that you can set up next to it and, and manipulate this. The set is supposed to come with uh, two firemen, I believe, but mine came with four. Each one of them has a fire hat with a peg that goes into the top of the head and a hole. My name's Clem. I'm a fireman. I'm going to kill you. And then two of them have this yellow bracket on the front. I think this is the same thing, although it's broken. But from what I can determine here, this bracket has little offsets on either side. And what I think, and I'm going to try to refab this and see if this is the, the case. I think what you do is, is that assembly right there that these clips clip onto a string or a piece of thread what have you that is wound around the ladder here okay and uh, allows the fireman to be sort of pulled up the ladder there's no string on here but I'm going to restring it and see if the the fireman will clip to that and see if it actually works now the truck as I bought it is very clean very nice, very complete. There are a few problems though. Um, although it is clean, it is not without some interesting damage. Um, most notably is in the basket, the uh, fireman basket. Okay, um, as you can see, it has a lot of breakage in through here. Okay, it's not the strongest plastic. As a matter of fact, there's more cracks down here. It's kind of a thin, flimsy plastic, and it's different material than, than this plastic, which is kind of that unbreakable plastic they used to make combs out of, you know, that stuff that you can really twist and it doesn't want to break. Uh, so I think that's why this has been, this is that more of a hard, brittle plastic. I don't know why they just didn't make it out of the same stuff, but it is, it is a different plastic. Now, the good news is, is that it appears, and this owner of this unit was pretty cool because he gave me what appears to be almost all of the big pieces that that uh, are broken on that. So we're going to have quite a glue job to put this back together, but we're going to put it back together the best we can and clip it back on there. I've had this toy actually, I got it for Christmas last year. I got it for Christmas 2012. So it's just been sitting on my shelf. I cleaned it up, got it to work, you know, uh, a little better than it was but really didn't take it apart or anything. The other breakage is this ladder hook right here, which goes on this side. It carries a ladder on each side, and it goes like right like there, if you can see that. And it matches this hook right here, okay? 
Also, some other th neat things about this is the decals are in really good shape. The foil decal for the uh, water controls, the fire department decal. And I don't think these are reprints. I think this is just a very well cared for toy that wasn't played for with very much at all. And just um, it cleaned up really nice. It didn't. I didn't have much to clean up really on it. Uh, of everything that I've purchased, um, except for maybe the big job, which didn't function 100%, so I had to take it apart and fix it. But cosmetically, that was almost perfect. Uh, this is a nice balance that the uh, the mechanics work fairly good on it, um, but the cosmetics are really nice as well. And this is just a really nice piece. Uh, my wife located it and uh, got it for me, and I'm just really pleased to get this back 100%. Uh, I want to see if the, I can get the fireman to climb the ladder, and I want to glue these pieces back together. So I figured as long as the bench was set up to fix Gaylord, which is the video I just created. <laughs> you just saw that one! <laughs> hey! I figured I would just go ahead and, uh, you know, take time and get this thing fixed instead of putting it off. Putting it off never helps and only hurts. <laughs> Yes. First thing we're going to do is that some somebody at some time tried to just tape this in place and you know how tape works. It doesn't. So we're going to take the tape off which will probably come off in brittle old pieces. There we go. There it is. Take the tape off. Get that out of the way. Clean that up so that we have a good mounting surface um, for the epoxy. Now we've glued this part all the way on. It was completely broken. And at the bottom, we've glued this, if you can see it, this connector back on, which is going to go on the end of this wire right here, and it allows the box to tilt um, and keep upright as this ladder extends, as you can see right here. Okay, we are putting the last bit of glue and gluing the last piece in here look how this is coming together look how I have a mounting hole here and a mounting hole here all of which were in pieces and I'm very carefully putting the last of the glue with a needle so I can get it in small crevices and what have you and um, we basically have this done and we're going to set it aside to dry Now, through the magic of time-lapse photography, you can see that we uh, rebuilt the whole basket. You know, take a look at the comparison between uh, how it was in pieces and now all back together. This entire area has been epoxied. Came out pretty good. You'll see that we have the guide wire properly attached to the underside of the bucket and everything is together as it should be. We also have the ladder put together and I've strung the appropriate side. To make this thing work, I was using too thin a string on it. I put a thicker uh, string, actually used for stringing beads, actually. I got it at an art store. And we put this on here and made sure it was very snug. And the only solution I don't have is, is how you break down this ladder in an easy way for transporting on the truck without taking your whole effort of your string apart here. But uh, I'm going to show how everything works right now. The ladder with its gear gets plugged into the truck down here. Just like that. And you can see it meshes with the gear off the motor drive. Now the fireman, if you look close, has this staggered little clip arrangement on its front. Only one of the firemen has this, 
at least in my set. And uh, that's what's going to clip onto the string so he can quote unquote climb the ladder. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is try the firefighter boom here. Take a firefighter with hat, snap his feet into the bottom of the basket, and let's see if we can raise it now. There he goes. And we can also rotate. In the direction. The water pump here may be filled with water and press down to shoot the water out of this hose and extinguish flames. Also, if additional firemen need to be called into action, we can raise one on this ladder. filming me? I didn't give you permission to film me. Who the hell are you? Get out of here. We're fighting fires. Get out of here. Turn that.